Hey YouTube, I'm shooting today's video on my iPhone because I'm in the middle of moving. This tutorial is for Squarespace users looking to change the logo on their website. Could be a different color or a different logo altogether on an individual page. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's look. There are a lot of things I love about Squarespace, but this is one thing that kind of makes me scratch my head that they haven't made this easier. The ability to change a logo color or change a logo for that matter on a single page on your Squarespace website. I'm showing you a client example, something I'm working on right now. This is a classic example where this logo that I've uploaded into the header, into the website, um, you know, spot to upload the logo on desktop and mobile. It doesn't look quite right in black. It's gonna look great on beige, but in this case it's on brown and it doesn't look quite right. So what I have to do is add some custom code to make a different logo show up here. Even before we jump into the code, I'm gonna show you in Photoshop is what I'm using right now to change that logo color. As you saw a second ago, it's black. So I'm going to sample this nice beige color. There's the code. I'll hop over to my logo file, and I'm gonna take the same logo file that I uploaded to Squarespace, and I'm just going to modify the color. Obviously, I'm doing this in Photoshop. You could be doing this in any of your favorite photo editor. I'll go ahead and save this, and then we'll jump over in a second to Squarespace, back there where we'll add the custom code. So here's what the code looks like. And since YouTube doesn't allow me to have any code or square brackets in the description, I've gone ahead and pinned this as the top comment below on this YouTube video. So that's where you're going to want to go to pull this code, copy and paste, add your own image URL, which I'll explain in a second. Don't go to the description, go to the pinned comment. Now let's hop over to where we need to um, actually insert the code. So from your dashboard, okay, you would go ahead and click pages and navigate to the page where you're wanting to essentially add that new or different logo. Could be a different logo or it could be the same logo with a different color. You're you're going to want to click advanced and here you're going to want to paste the header code injection that code that i showed you now this is where you're going to want your url to go and if you need a spot to upload this to your squarespace website i'm just going to click cancel for this example and show you there's a spot where you can easily add a file if you need it go to design custom css all the way down here just scroll to the end. Manage custom files. You could upload that uh, image file that you just created in your favorite graphic design tool. That beige one that I'm going to show you, I would upload right here. There it is, that URL. Once I've grabbed that from that file that just uploaded, I'm going to go ahead back to pages, find that page where I'm looking to change the logo. Okay. And here I'm going to paste that code. There's that image URL. I'm gonna take that URL and insert it right here where it says logo URL here. And very important here, you're gonna to wanna to set the maximum height. In this case, I know the logo is set to 60 when I uploaded that. So I'm gonna adjust that to 60. And there we go. There it is looking great up there. If you need to double check what your site logo width is, go uh, click edit on that header as I just did and go to site title and logo and your logo height is right there. It is just that easy. So that's how easy it is. Now YouTube won't let me paste code with the angled brackets in the description. So I am gonna pin that in the comments below so that you have that handy. And remember that code injection, this tutorial uses that, is a premium feature on Squarespace. So you may need to upgrade if you haven't yet. Now I wanna hear from you. If you have any lingering questions, go ahead and comment below uh, and we can keep the conversation going on down there. And if you like this tutorial, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos, which we work hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on Squarespace branding and lots of other topics right here on my YouTube channel. And next I'm gonna share through a few other Squarespace videos that I think you're gonna find useful. Until then, I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching and those videos are coming up next.